we're out in Knights Valley, we're pruning vines, and uh, this vineyard right here, this vineyard block is pruned to the uh, guillo, double guillo style of, of pruning, which means we've got um, <clears throat> cane from last year's growth, and all the buds from this cane are gonna produce the fruit for next year, produce the, the shoots and the, and, and the, and the fruit uh, that we'll be harvesting next year in the fall. You leave a, a spur, it's going to grow two nice canes that you'll lay, you know, be able to lay down for next year. So we're going to create that spur, that's going to be there, and then this cane will become the one that we lay down. The, uh, again from here, the cane from last year, um, I don't see anything I need on that so I'm just going to take that off. And, uh, and then on, on this one, we have to decide what are we going to leave behind. Um, in this case, my uh, renewal spur only produced one, sh one shoot last year. So I'm going to lay that one down, and I'm going to leave this one as my renewal spur for next year. I take off all the growth from last year. That's going to be, those will be the canes for next year. When you prune, the idea is that you, when you're pruning, you know what, where your next truck cut's going to go. So that when you cut, you're cutting, you're cutting with certainty. Yes? Yep. So you, can't, you, can't, you can't put the stuff back. No. You can't put the stuff back on. So when you're pruning, you're making sure that whatever you leave, it's, it's pretty pretty good. So here I left my spurs. All right, all my spur here. And then here I left my I left my two canes. I'm gonna cut a couple, couple pieces, a uh, couple uh, wood there. And I'm gonna do this one. So what will happen is, is that I'll put this, and then this will kind of wrap here, and then this one will wrap here. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that you want to start with a vine that's left much like that. So it's done. My vine is done, it's, it's created, it's kind of balanced. I've got my, my, my four spurs over here, i got my four to five spurs over here. So right here, we just pruned the vine to a cordon pruning system, where we have two arms, cordons, that uh, have um, spur positions spread apart, about six inches, eight inches apart, and two bud spurs that are gonna generate the growth. Why, why are we pruning this to a cordon versus a cane? You know what's the what, what's the reason why we would choose the cane? Why would it be the purpose? Well, yeah. part of it is because sometimes you you want it, and it's all sometimes it's it's variety sensitive. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, mm -hmm. uh, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. Some of it can be uh, some tend to set better. Some or uh, some tend to uh, produce more. Mm -hmm. Now, it, production has a lot of to do with it. Cabernet Sauvignon tends to produce pretty well with cane prune, which is what we're doing up there. With Carmenier, it, it resembles a little bit more the Merlot, and we we believe that it sets better. The Merlot sets better when it's cordon spur prune, cordon trained spur prune, and that's probably one of the reasons why you get too we much, make too many blind buds here in the center. Too many that blind don't produce buds. Any fruit exactly. If you leave it on a cane, so if we do it to a, a cordon, we'll get more regular fruitful production from the two basal buds on the spur. It's ready to produce some nice Carmenier.